and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make five easy DIY pencil cases and makeup bags. If you enjoy this video, please click that like button and comment down below with your favorite candy or snack. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first one will be the Hubba Bubba Bubble Gum. For this one, I'm going to use a spaghetti box. The first thing I did was I sealed the open end together with some hot glue. On one side of the box, I marked off at one inch, and then with an X-Acto knife, I cut that out all the way around the box. I flipped the box using the other closed end and I marked off at seven and three quarters and then I cut that out with an X-Acto knife. Now I have two pieces both with closed ends. I'm going to use a piece of pink foam, mark off at one and a half inches and then cut that out. Take the piece of foam and place it in the box. I used a paper clip just to secure it until it is glued in place. On each of the four corners, I placed some hot glue and secured the foam to the box. there's any excess foam, cut it off where the two pieces will meet and then hot glue those together. Now you will need one of these printables. I will leave a link down below where you can print out all the printables for this video. And the next step is optional, but it does protect it. You can either use some contact paper or a laminating sheet to laminate the printable. Place the spaghetti box in the middle of the Hubba Bubba label, then mark off where the lid and the box meet. Then cut that out so you will have two separate pieces of the printable. Now with the larger part of the box, place the label on the edge and then use hot glue to secure it in place. Wrap the label around the box, almost like you're wrapping a gift, using hot glue to secure it to the box. Put the lid back on, take the other part of the printable, line it up with the one that is already glued down, and wrap it around just like the other side. For both of the ends, fold them in, again like you're wrapping a gift, and use hot glue to secure them down. And that is how you make the Hubba Bubba bubblegum pencil case or a place to keep your makeup. The next one will be a Hershey bar. For this one, you will need two different sized spaghetti boxes, one that is slightly larger than the other. 
you want to make sure that the smaller one fits into the bigger one, just like this. Starting with the slimmer spaghetti box, glue the open end back together. Mark off both sides at one inch and only cut the top portion of the box. Don't cut all the way through like on the last one. Cut the side of the box from the one inch marking on one side to the one inch marking on the other side. And this is what it should look like at this point. Cut off the other side of the box so you're left with just an empty space in the middle. Moving on to the bigger spaghetti box, mark both ends off at one inch and then cut out around the entire box on those markings. Here is what the bigger spaghetti box should look like. And now the slimmer one should fit into the bigger one just like this. Print out the printable. If you need to trim it down to size, do that. And also if you wanna laminate it, again, you can use contact paper or laminating sheets. Place the printable in the center of the bigger spaghetti box. The side shouldn't hang over. And then with hot glue, secure that to the box. Just wrap it around the box, just like the last one. And here is what I have so far. The next step is optional, but I wanted to cover up the markings of the spaghetti box on the sides and the bottom, so I just spray painted it. Once my spray paint was dried, I'm just going to use some aluminum foil. And what I did was I cut out little strips and I wrapped those around the side and I secured them with some hot glue. And that is how you make the Hershey chocolate bar box. The next one will be a super easy gummy bear pencil case or makeup bag. For the next one, I'm going to use some heat transfer paper. Then I went online and I printed out a gummy bear image and printed that onto the transfer paper. And then I'm going to use a old white t-shirt that I had to print the image onto. I placed the image face down onto the t-shirt and ironed it on according to the package instructions. I peeled the backing off of the heat transfer paper so I was left with my image onto the t-shirt. The next thing I did was I just cut that out. Once I cut it out, it was roughly eight and a half by 11 inches. What I did was I folded that in half and then at the halfway point, I cut that out. I'm going to use a white zipper, place the images right side up on top of the zipper and then use some hot glue to secure them. Unzip the zipper, glue along the outside and the bottom of the printable, fold those over, and glue them together. Turn the bag inside out and shape it until it forms a bag. And that is how you make an easy gummy bear makeup bag or pencil case. Next one will be the Starburst pencil case. 
For this one, I'm going to use one of these cracker boxes. Start by gluing the open end back together. Mark off one end at four and a half and the other one at one and a half. Cut on both of those markings all the way around the box. And here is how mine looks at this point. Print out the printable and laminate it if you would like. Place the cracker box in the middle of the logo, making sure that there is enough to cover the sides. Then mark off where the lid and the bottom of the box meet and cut the printable in two. Secure the printable to the box just like the bubblegum one. Here is mine after the one side had been wrapped with the label. For the next part, I'm going to use some red foam and I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the bubblegum one. Line up the other part of the printable and secure that to the box just like the bubblegum one. And that is how you make the Starburst box to hold your pens, your pencils, or your makeup. The last one will be the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. For this one, I'm going to use one of the slimmer sized spaghetti boxes. Glue the open end back together. Mark off one side at four and a half and then cut that out around the box. On the other side, mark off at one inch and cut that out around the box. Here are my two pieces after I was done cutting them out. For this one, I cut out a piece of orange foam and secured it to the box just like in the Starburst and Bubblegum one. Print out the printable, laminate it if you would like, and then I use some jagged scissors to cut along the edges. Mark off on the printable just like before and cut it into two pieces. Glue the printable to the box, just like before, but for the ends on this one, you will want to pinch them together instead of folding them in. Secure with hot glue to hold them in place. Repeat the same process with the lid. And that's how you make the Reese's Peanut Butter Box that you can hold your pens, your pencils, or even some of your makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make these candy box, pen, pencil cases, and makeup bags. Leave me a comment and let me know which is your favorite candy. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.